Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original, and today we're going to do a really quick and easy card featuring the Italian Greyhound. Let's go ahead and get started. I actually colored this in in a previous video, so if you want to watch that, I will link it below. But I found this shape for the card on Pinterest, and it's just a really quick and easy diagonal with a sentiment and an image. So let's go ahead and get started. These Italian Greyhound or Greyhound rubber stamps are available at JessicaLynnOriginal.com so you can pick those up. All I did was I went ahead and used some of our glue, ran it along the card, and then what I'm going to do is just take the piece of paper, run it at a diagonal till I see a diagonal that I really like, and then all I'm going to do is just clean up the edges. It's extremely easy, really fast, and the card is very clean and makes for perfect gift giving or maybe it's just a just because. So what I'm going to do is put the dog in place so that I kind of have a placeholder and I know about where he's going to go ahead and be once I add the foam risers. Then what I'm going to do is just quickly sign the back of my card and I'm going to use a sentiment from Mama Elephant stamp set in my heart. It says, we may be miles apart but you're always close in my heart. Now by leaving the dog there then I know where I'm going to line up my sentiment. It's an easy quick cheat so that you know that you're not putting it in the wrong place. Once I get my close to my heart ink and I stamp it on, I'm going to go ahead and get out some foam risers and we'll get the dog all set and going. This card is so easy and cute and it's just very clean. I'm kind of into that new look so hopefully you guys have noticed that my cards have changed style just a little bit. Now for my favorite part, the foam risers. Honestly, I think I should probably take stock in this company because it is my favorite stamping tool. The dog has some very small parts, so I am going to go ahead and cut one of these circles in half. I could have used the little squares, but I don't like those. I always get them stuck on my fingers, so I just cut the circle in half, and then we're going to remove the backings. So let me go ahead and do that. Usually I have my assistant, but she is not with me today to help me do that. Go ahead and get those all removed and then what I'm going to do is put the dog in the spot where I had kind of planned for him to go. What I like about the foam risers now there's a nice little shadow so you can see that. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and just add some shadows. Yes, I did use my brother's scan and cut to add just a very small sixteenth of an inch white border around the entire stamp. 
Um, just a reminder, I went ahead and colored all of these in about a week or so ago. There is a video if you wanted to watch me color them using my Copics. Went ahead and used my brother's scan and cut, cut them all out. And now I'm just making cards with all the stamps that I have ready to go. If you like what we're doing, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Jessica Lynn Originals YouTube channel. Just click on that little Brentwood I'm going to pop up. And then be sure to watch other videos, and I would love to hear from you. If you like any of the stamps that we featured, the Jessica Lynn Original stamps are available at our website, JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Thank you again. Have a great day.